There's an old Buddhist proverb that says, when the pupil is ready, the teacher will appear. Today we are engaged in an interactive seminar called The Art of Being Present. I would like my server to take pride in their work. Wonderful, I love this one. Let's get five volunteers and we'll do an experiment. You have two sets of this cocktail. All the measurements are equal. When I say go, you grab your can and start pouring it. Go. Let's look at these cocktails. Are they the same level? No. no. How about color? How come they're different? They should be all the same. Let's see if we can taste this different. They're not the same. Some are sweeter. Some are lighter. Yeah. You know, some stronger. are lighter. Yeah. Some are stronger. So they're all different. Yet we use the same eyes, the same ingredients. It's really interesting. So let's do this again. But this time I want you guys, the mixers, to close your eyes and visualize somebody you really care about. Let's taste this other drink and see if there's any big significant difference between the first and the second drink. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes better, actually. It tastes better. It's smoother. It's smoother. Yeah. The only difference between the first and the second drink is that they've been told to visualize somebody they care about. So the drink they were making was being made for somebody they wanted to please. And of course, the drink took a totally different form. Thank you all very much. It generally applies really beautifully to any kind of service industry. The hospitality we strive to give is automatically given when you become present to yourself. And no matter if you're a cab driver, a bartender, or a front desk person. We talk about sincerity and being genuine and being present. Not only will it help the employee get through their own day in a helpful and healthy way, but really serve the guest, I think, in an even more positive way.